Imagine you had an idea for a product and you invested your hard earned money researching and developing this product to its perfection. You actually took this product and sent it to your friends and your family to get feedback and they told you they loved it and this was gonna sell like crazy. So you created the Facebook ad account, you created the very first ads for it and you pushed go and nothing, nada. You didn't sell a single thing. Well, that's exactly what happened to the inventor of the Pyro, the world's most portable fire pit. His name is Bob and he called me up and he said, Jeremy, I've just gone and spent thousands of dollars developing this product. I went and created the Facebook ad account. I sent 15,000 people to my website and I got zero sales. After meeting Bob and researching his product, I knew I had to help. My name is Jeremy Blossom. I'm the CEO and co-founder of StrikePoint Media and we sell things online for our clients. And so when I heard Bob's story, I knew we had to help. So we went in and we created a brand new campaign for Bob. We built out an entirely new sales funnel for him, including a new shopping page. And we turned on the ads and guess what? Spoiler alert, we sold his very first Pyroad within 34 minutes of turning on the ads. So if you own a product and you wanna sell something online and you wanna know how people do it, well then guess what? We've created a very special web series called Zero to One, where we're gonna go through and show you exactly what we did with the Pyroad over the last seven weeks. You're gonna see exactly how we set up the campaigns, how we did the photo shoots, how we created the ads, we researched his, his uh, ideal customer. All of that is gonna be in this amazing zero to one series. So if you wanna learn how to sell something online, if you've got an amazing idea for a product or service that you wanna launch, then subscribe to Zero to One today. Uh, so I've been a sheet metal manufacturer since 1984. We build ductwork for the heating and air conditioning industry. Have five locations and about 200 employees uh, making ductwork. So yes, family business. Uh, my dad started it in 1982. I joined him when I graduated college in 1984. My son Kyle joined us in 2006 when he graduated college. And then my son-in-law John joined us in 2009. I did. <laughs> We drove about 15,000 people to our website that clicked on a Shop Now button and zero bought. So I was extremely frustrated with that and that's why I reached out to Jeremy and your team and figured out, can you guys help me figure this out? Definitely a legacy business for our family. So with now the third generation getting ready to take over with me, looking to step aside and then my grandson's already talking about coming in you know, Lord willing, it'll go to the fourth generation. Tell me about the back story of Pyro. How did you come about this idea? So a good friend of mine, Mike Nelson, who worked with us, he was our VP of systems. He's a mechanical engineer, airflow engineer, uh, retired recently, and he and I were talking, and just, he loves camping, he loves outdoors, and he's like, I'd love to build a fire pit. Can we design a fire pit out of sheet metal that will be portable, easy to use, easy to light, efficient on the way it burns wood so you don't consume as much wood. And um, he and I just started brainstorming together. You know, it's amazing that two friends working together just having some fun, I think we came up with a really incredible device. Pyro is made of 16 gauge black iron steel as our base model. We also have a 16 gauge stainless steel model that's available if somebody wants that. But the black iron, it's sturdy, it's strong, it'll last forever. Uh, it'll rust a little bit, but that's okay. To me, that adds a little bit to the charm. You know, I love the, the rusty, rustic outdoor look, and you'll definitely get that from the black iron. All right, so now you know a little bit more about Bob, his company, and about the amazing Pyro. Now I want you to meet the Strike Point Media team. These are the brilliant minds behind launching this amazing, successful Pyroad campaign. 
Let's go meet him. Hi, I'm Brent Blossom. I'm the creative director on the project. My role is to ensure that the creative is as effective as possible. Hi, I'm Brian Rosencrantz. I'm president at StrikePoint, and on the Pyro project, I had the rare privilege of actually getting to be on screen video talent for the photo shoot, which was great. And due to the fact that I actually have a sprinter van and go camping quite regularly, I also got to be kind of consumer market feedback, uh, which was a fun experience for me. Hey, I'm Bryce. I'm the marketing manager on this account, helping oversee the strategy and working with Bob and our team. Hey guys, I'm Charlie. I'm going to be the account manager on the Pyro project. I'll be overseeing a lot of the client communication between Bob and the agency, uh, ensuring budgets are being fulfilled and ad spend is on target. I'll also be assisting Lauren in some of the project management duties, making sure that deliverables are staying on time and going through quality assurance. Hi, my name is Anthony. I'm an ad creative specialist here at StrikePoint Media, and I'm going to be creating all of the Facebook and YouTube video ads for the Pyro project. Hi, my name is Lauren Hickey and I'm going to be a project manager on the Pyroid project. I'll be in charge of putting together the project plan with the marketing manager on the account, which is Bryce, and I'll be working with Charlie to put together timelines and deliverables. So from there, I will put together the project plan and I'll get everything into teamwork and I'll work with the production team, which includes everyone who's in charge of writing copy and design, and I will give Bob updates on project status and timelines. Hi, my name is Danielle Cortman. I'm the Vice President at StrikePoint Media and I oversee our agency teams. On the Pyroad project specifically, I was able to jump in and give some marketing insights and feedback. There it is. That's the first episode of Zero to One. You're not going to want to miss the rest of these episodes in this series. Why? Spoiler alert. We actually sold the very first Pyroad in less than 30 minutes after launching the very first ads. So, we're gonna go and break down exactly how we were able to do this by going through our copywriting process, by going through our, our ad creative process, building their avatars for Bob and who would buy this Pyroad and more. Look, it's really, really hard to go and spend time building your very first product. It's even harder to sell it. If you wanna know exactly how we did it, then stay tuned and watch what happens next.